Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you. Gonna do an opening of uh, some HBO McFarlane. These were, uh, I believe, Walmart specials. And they had four figures, main figures. As you can tell off the back, um, I already opened a Night King a long time ago. Um, the Basarian. Uh, they actually had Ray, uh, Rygal and I forget the other one's name. Drogon. Um, anyway, but uh, I got those somewhere else. Those all got, or well, I got one at Walmart, but the other two I got somewhere else. So I don't know. They may have been exclusives of some sort. Um, I'm not sure if there's many Game of Thrones fans out there. Um, I personally love the series. I didn't actually pick up on it until um, the last season. My wife was watching it. She watched it off and on, uh, you know, all through. But, uh, I personally didn't even pick it up until the last season, and uh, so I watched the last season, and I went back and watched the whole series, and it was great, so I kind of thought to myself, boy, I missed the boat on this, so I better cut that the other direction next time. So anyway, these come with a stand. Here's Daenerys. Come with a stand for them. I've got a, a place in my bottom of my uh, at the bottom of my got a you smell funny mm -hmm. see how the joints on these things are these are different they're made by McFarland she moves hairs yeah she moves Let's see about her legs. Uh, that sound good, but they bend. Maybe it's clicking because it's touching this dress thing. Anyway, so you got one hole, so you have to put the you have to put it in this one. Where is it? Oh, it's in the middle. So you have to stand her on this one. She comes with. The chest pieces from the comes with the chest pieces from the uh, war room, so to speak. Ow! Hmm, that's smarted. There's a horse head, like a chest piece, and then this thing stinking. It's got little spikies on it. It's like some kind of wheel with an arrow through it something that's what got me under my fingernail there i'm gonna use this knife to try these out i'm gonna cut myself i'm surprised it's not bleeding anyway so yeah come with little pieces you can get that i saw a set of sorts you can get those yeah i'm gonna cut I cut that side so i cut the other side cut her name off and when I open them, I open them on the left hand side on this other one. Yeah. Didn't realize it would do that, so. Oh well, and there's Daenerys. There is a whole uh, Dark Horse lot of these you can get. There. Yeah, see this. And it's cut old Jon Snow's name off. Comes out just fine, it looks like. Anyway, there's a whole uh, dark horse. Of course, they're not. They're more kind of statuettes, but they're like this. They're actually maybe a tad bigger. Can't remember. There for a while, right when the show was getting over the last season or when I started really liking it, watching it all the way through, thought about getting those. Um, you know, I really loved this show. I thought it was a great show. I, I was disappointed. I, I have been reading, ironically, lately, that I guess the writer was disappointed that, or the whoever was disappointed because they, the show actually didn't keep up, or the books didn't keep up with the show. And so, or 
I guess I think it's the writer of the books was disappointed because the show got ahead of him. And I'm my imagining I'm imagining that he had a little bit of a different idea how it was gonna end. And I'd say that's probably accurate information if you're not thrilled or if you're kinda upset that you didn't stay with that the shows didn't stay with you or whatever, vice versa. That likely the whole idea was would have been better had the shows all stayed with the book so I'm sure the endings would have been different um, but you know in the grand scheme of things it was a great show so um, I hated to see it end I think we've got the house of dragon or something coming up in the next year or so so we'll see if it's any good um, Mm, it might be. Sword's kind of hard to get on. I'm trying to. Oh, I just broke his sword. I knew that would happen. Well, I'm put a little paper stuff around it. That's great. Well, I can assure you, I broke a piece of the Night King staff too when I opened him. So, unfortunately, these pieces. Are a little frail so I'm gonna have to fix that piece anyway there's your Jon Snow and we'll do Arya a lot of people liked Arya she's a pretty cool character had a strange bit of a story but in the grand scheme of things she's still pretty cool now this one's already salty ready to open kind of cracked already or something fix old John's sword here after we're done. Glue it and let it sit. Got some super glue upstairs. Let's see what we got. And this Aria. Aria Speedwagon. <laughs> if you're old enough, you probably get that. She's a she's kind of a different character. She was something else in the, in the show. It's amazing the way it ended. I'm I'm not, and I would say I'm not a, in the least bit surprised the way it ended and what Arya did at the end. So I won't say just in case you're a Got fan and you, I would imagine if you're a Got fan or you're unless you're okay. So we'll say this: if you're new and you're thinking about watching it, I would highly recommend watching binge watching the whole series. It was a very, very, very good series. Now, that being said, I wouldn't have been surprised if the book writer, if, if what I was saying a second ago was true, and the book writer was um, considering what I would, I would I'm trying to think of the best way to word this. I would say the book writer would, with the way it ended in the move in the show, that the book writer would could have and would have and possibly I would think that might have agreed with the last part of the, or what how it ended that he could have wrote the ending and what Arya did because Arya's character was something else anyway because I would imagine that he would have probably said oh well she what she did would would definitely work okay be okay with with what he he did so or would have done so here's our little sword needle I don't break it nope got that one in there so yeah she's cool she comes on they, these come on little stands I don't think I put the one on the Night King I don't remember they may be in the bottom and I can't really stand them up either all right so there's Arya uh, for success. I showed you the back. The artwork's pretty much the same on the back. You get to see all the figures. So, all right, there you go, guys. Game of Thrones. There's Arya, Jon Snow, and Daenerys Targaryen. So, they want to open those for a while. So, went ahead and just knock them out. So now I gotta fix Jon Snow's sword. It broke. Uh, won't put it in his hand anytime soon either. So, all right, guys. Well, hey. A little different from what you're used to with me. I don't typically do 
too many off the wall oddball toys, but uh, being a Game of Thrones fan, I bought those a while back, got those on sale at Walmart uh, about a year or so after the, I guess the finale's been about, what, three years now? So, two or three, I know about a year after that, you could, some of those got to Walmart and got them, I think they were 20 bucks, got down to like nine, so I think I bought those for nine. Ari, I just found not too long ago, I had a hard time. Aria sold out at full price for the most part. You couldn't find them. So, uh, but John and Daenerys, you could. And I, actually, those three, you could. You just, Aria was was a hard find. I found her at a, just a, a toy store that's in the Evansville, Indiana Mall. And it's also in the uh, Paducah Mall. Just so happened to walk in to the one in the Evansville Mall that was on sale um, a while back. They had it and it was on sale. So, anyway, I hope you... Uh, enjoyed it want to watch more of my videos hit the like and subscribe guess i'll be fixing me a sword here in a minute so get me some super glue and uh as always hit that like and subscribe button sorry say it again and uh as always thanks for watching i'm beast from beast toys we'll see you